Hi, my name is Sarah Lowe, and luckily I get to introduce Hillary Norcross. Hillary and I have been absolutely inseparable since she came here freshman year. We were so close, in fact, that I even broke up with my boyfriend sophomore year because he said we were spending too much time together. <laughs> Although she is my best friend, I will never be hers because we all know that position is filled by her mom. No matter what, though, Hillary is always there for me and anyone else that needs her. She is also the hardest worker I know, putting 100% of her time and effort into everything she does, whether it's MUS cheer, cross country, and even her English journal, which we are all jealous of. I don't know how that much sass can be squeezed into her 5-1 body, but trust me, it's all there. So everyone give a big round of applause and a loud woo pig for Hillary Blevins Norcross. <laughs> Throughout my life, I've been very close to my family. I grew up having my two older sisters as my best friends, talking to my parents for hours every day, and spending every Friday night at my grandparents' house. As I grew older, I started to become even closer to my family. My mom became my best friend, my dad became my voice of reason, my sisters became the people who kept me laughing, and my grandparents became two of my biggest supporters. However, Everyone's idea of perfection is spoiled eventually, and mine was my sophomore year when my grandfather was diagnosed with leukemia. This was hard for me to believe. I could not come to terms with the fact that someone as kind and loving as my grandfather could have something as terrible as this happen to him. However, this tragic event did not, did not get in his way of fully living his life. He accepted his diagnosis and started to live his life based on the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society slogan that is, someday is today. I'm sure that many of you, like me, have heard some version of this phrase throughout your life. However, it was not until recently that I felt this phrase really began to apply to me. Earlier this year, I went to many doctor's appointments because my right arm would not fully straighten and I had no idea why. The doctors finally told me that I had a benign tumor in my elbow that limited my mobility and I would have to have surgery to have it removed. There would be weeks of recovering in physical therapy after the surgery. At first, I wanted to wait to get the surgery because I did not want it to interfere with anything that I had going on in my life. However, once the doctor told me that if I waited any longer, there was a possibility that I would never regain all of the movement in my elbow, I decided that I would have the surgery over Christmas break. Now, only two months after the surgery, my arm is completely straight again. I would have never been able to accomplish this if I did not think of the phrase, someday is today. Because I had to live the phrase, Someday is today, when facing my surgery, it opened my eyes to other ways this phrase could apply to my life. I recently have been able to truly find my voice. I used to be scared to tell people what I was thinking. However, I have realized that it is important to tell people how you're feeling because if you don't, then when you finally work up the courage to, it might be too late. You can never know what will happen tomorrow. Therefore, you should never wait until tomorrow to tell people what is on your mind. I have primarily learned to tell my family members how much they mean to me because I have learned that you never know when you will no longer be able to talk to someone. Especially now, facing the daunting next step in my life, which is college, I realize how important it is to live in the moment. Knowing that next year I will no longer see my parents or grandmother all the time scares me because I've grown so used to spending so much time with my family. Everything will be changing, but I know that everything will be okay as long as I live my life knowing someday is today. Thank you.